So hello, I'm going to show you how to trace out a uh, the part of the transmission for a making an adapter. You do it with the input shaft removed, so you can get a flat piece of paper on here to trace it. And then if you have any grease or dirt on your fingers, it makes it real easy to transfer. You just kind of go around here. You get all the outline where the bolts go. This is a Chevy or a GM pattern, Chevy pattern. I usually like to use the Ford patterns because the, the bolts aren't so far out. And then you just get a piece of aluminum, like a three quarter piece of a, a plate aluminum on eBay. That's usually where I look for them. And then it just comes to you that way. There you can see the paper. Thank you. Okay, so here are the patterns I used for the Packard inline eight in one of my other videos. So this was the thing I traced off the bell housing on the back of the engine. And this was the, this is a Ford pattern T5. Again, I like the Ford pattern cause it's, everything's kind of closer together. And sometimes they're a little easier to get. Like if you're trying to get a Chevy S10, they're, they're probably expensive. Um, so I believe I traced it off this way and it kind of made this this way. So the main, the main secret is, is you just find the center. You could use a micrometer, tape measure, whatever. Make sure you're really good with the center. The center's on both of these. And then you pretty much just put the center to center. And then you could drill the holes on each pattern onto your faceplate on either side of it. And that's how you get all of this to line up. So that's pretty, pretty easy to do with a white piece of paper.